Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. So in this problem, we will solve the problem 7.83, but by using the maximum shear stress criteria or Fresca criteria. So in given data, we have given sigma x is equal to 36 ksi. I will not write ksi over here. Sigma y is equal to 21 ksi. Clear? Sigma yield, which is sigma y, is 45 ksi. Clear? And part A is top xy is equal to 9 ksi. Clear? So we have to find the whether it yields or not, and if not, then corresponding factor of safety, but by using the maximum distortion energy criteria. So let's sort. Uh, let's start with this. First of all, we will find sigma A and sigma B. These are known as principal stresses. There, because these principal stresses will then used in maximum shear stress criteria in order to find whether it fails or not. Clear? So we know that sigma A is equal to sigma average plus R. Clear? And sigma B is equal to sigma average minus R. Sigma average is equal to sigma X plus sigma Y divided by 2. Clear? So sigma X is 36, sigma Y is 21 divided by 2 which will yield you sigma average and that is equal to 28.5 KSI. Now R is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square. So put the values. We know that sigma x is equal to 36 minus sigma y is equal to 21 divided by 2 whole square and tau of xy is 9 that is square there so when you calculate it r will comes out to be 11.715 ksi clear now you will put the value of sigma average and r over here so sigma average is 28.5 and R is 11.715. So sigma average is 40.215 KSI. And sigma average is 28.5 minus R which is 11.715. And that will be equal to 16.875. KSI. Now you can see both principal stresses sigma A and sigma B both are positive having same, same sign. So your maximum sharing stress which is equal to sigma A divided by 2 or sigma B divided by 2 should be less than sigma E divided by 2. Clear? So in this condition, maximum stress is sigma A. So we will write sigma A over 2 should be less than sigma E divided by 2. And sigma A is equal to 2, 2 will cancel. So sigma A will be equal to 40.215 and that is less than sigma E. This is capital Y, capital Y. And that is 45. So you can see 40.215 KSI is less than 45 KSI. So it means that there will be no yielding. Also, factor of safety in this condition will be equal to 
45 divided by this value which is 40.215 and when you calculate it factor of safety will be 1.119 clear so let me write it factor of safety FOS is equal to 1.119 so this is part A now we will move toward part B and in part B it is given that tau of xy is now 18 ksi and rest all the things are same sigma x is 36 ksi sigma y is equal to 21 ksi and sigma yield is equal to 45 ksi let me show over here you can see all the things are same in part b only this value changes so we will solve again for this we will find sigma a and sigma b which is equal to sigma average plus r and that is equal to sigma average minus r sigma average will be remain same as we discuss over here that will be equal to 28.5 because sigma x and sigma y values are same there so this is ksi only r will change and r will be this value will be changed there so this 36 minus 21 divided by 2 values comes out to be 7.5 so that is 7.5 whole square plus now this r this 9 will be replaced by 18 so it will be 18 square under the root so when you calculate this r so this r comes out to be 19.5 19.5 ksi there so you will when you will put the value over here sigma average is 28.5 plus 19.5 so it will be equal to 48 ksi and sigma b will be equal to 9 ksi because 28.5 minus 19.5 is 9 ksi now you will use the maximum shear stress criteria so maximum shear stress criteria sh that this is equal to sigma a over 2 or sigma b over 2 should be less or less should be less than sigma y over 2 now you can see in both condition this 48 is maximum so we will use sigma a over 2 should be less than sigma yield over 2 it means that your sigma a should be less than sigma yield now sigma a is 48 ksi so these two will cancel with each other so 48 is now greater than this sigma yield which is 45 here ksi so it means that yielding will occur so yielding occur okay so now we will move toward our part c now part c is about uh, c is tau of, tau of x y is now 20 ksi so we will use 20 ksi so we will when you will use this top xy 20 ksi and you will you have sigma average will be which will be same only r will change so here you will put 20 so you will get sigma average will be same sigma average will be equal to 28.5 and this r when you put the value of uh, top xy here 20 clear so you will get r is equal to 21.36 
so sigma a will become equal to 49.86 ksi and sigma b will be equal to 7.14 ksi and then you will apply the maximum shear stress criteria since both are same so we will use this criteria now you can see sigma a is the maximum so we will use you can use both of this but remember this is again smaller than sigma yield so you will check the largest one so sigma a should be it means that sigma a mod should be less than sigma yield now you can see sigma a is 49.86 but it is greater than sigma yield this is capital y again this is capital y and that is 45 ksi so again this means that yielding will occur i hope you have now more concept that is clear to you thank you for watching the video